Hi. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Now it's seven o'clock, and as I already introduced, not introduced, <laughs> my introduction about what I would like to talk today. Okay, well, I would like to tell about how I find. In fact, I should say how I found, right? Because it was in the, it's in the past. It was in the past. <laughs> okay, let's forget about my grandma because when I speak long, my grandma gonna be very mixed up. <laughs> Just speaking, kind of still speaking. Okay, okay. When I first came here, I done. Have anything to do, and I don't want to just stay home. So I decided to walk out, check what around the house, and luckily I have a friend came together with me and lived with me for a few years. Then we walk out together, and we found there are many stores, shopping. So not shopping mall. I'm gonna say shopping mall, but it's that not. It's it's kind of supermarket, and there is a library. And we walk to downtown. We walk. We see the church, many store, and university close to our house. Then first I start went to the library. It's not in the same day. It's it's like. In a month or two months, not sure. Went to the library, and in the library, they there were many brochure, many leaflets on the counter that they're gonna teach free English to everybody who who doesn't speak English as native, who speak English as second language. We, they call it ESL. ESL in early a, I think I I told wrong. ESL stand for English as second language. It's not for <laughs> English as second language. So I found the leaflet from library. There are many many volunteer volunteer <laughs> volunteer. Volunteer people and the group, they have many groups too. They teach English for for uh, whoever doesn't native speak uh, native speaker in English and want to learn how to speak English in this country. This means whoever is not American. Then I started to call. And ask every single one on the list that cross to my home, but I can't go anywhere that town because I didn't have the license, driver license here yet. I have driver license from Thailand, but I cannot use here. I didn't. I did apply for uh, what is called. International license because I don't want to pay in Thailand for that and then come here and need to pay again for license here. Anyway, I cannot go anywhere on the list that I got from library. Then I know one. I knew on in the past. I knew <laughs> one church. On Main Street, that's not far from home, and I can walk there. Then I went there and apply for ESL class. They they teach, and I see today they still teach, but they have they have many people volunteer teacher change all the time. I study with them. About a year, I think. In fact, not because I start to look for ESL class from 
I I was here on what me June June first, and after that I maybe June July around that time I start to to study at the church by walking until November getting cold and I still need to walk. It takes about 30 minutes from home to the church and from the church come back home 30 minutes in one hour, <laughs> two ways <laughs> to walk and come back. But only two days study. Then I keep going and come back, going and come back until November in that year. It was cold, windy, and rain <laughs> on the day. Before that day, I quit. I try to to catch the bus because I learned how to catch the to catch the bus by myself. <laughs> so we don't we don't talk about how to catch the bus. I know how to catch the bus now, and they are waiting for the bus, but. I did mistake because I didn't check the schedule of the bus exactly what time the bus gonna come here. My grandma was wrong, see? Because everything in the past, I should say in the past, but I don't want to worry about tenses yet. Just keep telling your story, okay? But I talk about that time, not now. <laughs> okay. And the bus didn't come, didn't show up. Because I didn't check the right, the correct time of the schedule. And then I stand and I was freeze. Have the umbrella on the hand, in the hand, <laughs> in my hand. Umbrella in my hand. Start to rain, the wind blow. My hand doesn't have any growth. Is getting is what like getting hurt, and then I decide to walk back home. Since that time, I never go outside again. And then I stop study at the church for a while, and then I got a driver license early next year, and. We still bought a new car, then we have two cars. <laughs> and I can go out far away from home. Then I went to the library again. I call on the list again. And many, many ESL class, they deny me because they said my level is higher than basic. And then I, I asked them, I don't mind, I just want to learn the way people speak here. But they deny me. They didn't allow me to join to the class because they said, I need to wait until they have higher level that's that good for me. It suits my, uh, how to say, it, it suits my English level. Then... I need to wait almost a year. One day on on vacation on the trip to North Dakota, I think I got a call from a teacher. He was Jack. <laughs> Jack called and told me that the class will start on this day and the time and the place that the class gonna be at uh, gonna be it's not at ten <laughs> I don't know what is the word so this means he tell where when and what where and when and what time <laughs> or where when what time <laughs> is that confusing <laughs> but I I can because that time I was in in North Dakota. Then I wait until I came back and then I call him and then I told him I'm, I was ready and then he said, oh, okay, it's go to class. And during that time, 
I also learn in another class from the same group but different teacher. They they in fact they have the group in Birmingham in another city and they they ask me to go and do the test before they they send me to Jack and then Jack call me. And I also apply for another reading class. Reading class I learn in daytime, but Jack class I learn in the evening. It's two days a week each. This means I learn four days a week in daytime to in in evening two days in daytime two days. Big Jack learn conversation, learn easy English, learn quotation, learn speaking, basic, and many people. It's like ten to twelve people, and all people they speak Spanish. But at the reading class, we learn at the library across to my home. It's only five minutes. That is good. But for Jack, Jack used to cross to to more student area there. It's from my, from my home. It's like fifteen minutes. In the library, we learn reading. Reading is not like read and practicing how to pronounce the word. No, reading. We everybody need to read at home. And understand the story what we read, and then when go to the class, we will discuss. We learn reading for like a month or two months. I'm not quite remember well. And then the teacher got a full time job, and then she closed the group. Then we. We didn't continue that class anymore, and in this class we have only six people. I get I, if I'm not sure, six people, and most of them they have one, two, three, about three or four from Korean, and another from I don't remember the country, but speak Spanish like. Mexican, but it's not Mexican. Oh, I forgot. Before that, I went to another college outside. I s a y state in Maryland. It's not in my my state. It's about thirty minute drive, and they charge every class set free. Just only this one I'm talking. They charge like twenty dollars for. For one and half month, I don't remember. And, but I study with them. That means in the morning I study in this school, and in the evening I go study with Jack. And then in the same in the same day, two days a week. And then another two days in a week I study reading. And also, I have another classes. It's not English. It's like pottery or something. I interested or dancing, whatever. Because on the First two years, I didn't decide to work yet. I want to do whatever, enjoy, enjoy, and then practicing English, learn English. I also went to talk with school, English school close to my home because my friend she study there and need to pay expensive. It's like one thousand something for. For one, one, one. Ah,、uh, how to say one course? It's not semester because it's it's not like go to school. It's just like if in Thailand we we like ah、uh, English institute institute <laughs> English institute that teach you just English language like that. And I went with her and taught. If I'm not I'm not a student visa, I'm just Resident here and want to study. I thought they gonna give me low cost, but no, need to pay the same as international student. So I decide um I didn't learn with them. 
because that time I didn't think about study English to continue study, I mean continue education or study for go to work. I didn't, I just want to study to communicate with people here. Then I decide I will learn ESL with only volunteer people, volunteer teacher, and then doesn't need to pay any penny. And maybe two, three years, I get bored, stay home, and then apply for the job, cleaning job, clean window, cleaning, whatever. And then I just keep study with uh, Jack and in the rivalry, but the one that I need to pay $20 just one time and then I didn't continue. And study with Jack and in the rivalry until I decided to go to school for last, last year. This means I study with Jack about Two years, they they kicked me out from the program. I mean, the office that Jack belonged to, they graduated me, finish with their program, but I can still continue go to the class as as often as I want to. And then when I decided decided to go to school, I can manage the time because homework in school is very difficult. And that's what I do. That's what I did with my ESL classes. How I study, how I find the classes. And most of the time, I practicing by myself, read the book out loud in, in the bathroom, listen to TV, listen to news reporter and try to make the sound how to read it and let the the reading go smoothly. It's not easy, I understand it's not easy at all. But it compare with what I am studying in school right now, I think <laughs> just learn English basic basically is very, very easy, but when understand deeply, it's very, very difficult. <laughs> okay, I think my speaking today is like confusing because it's jump around, <laughs> talk that, talk this, come back again, come back again. <laughs> Bye. Bye.